Welcome to History with Master Squishies. In today's video, we'll be covering the history of the Horo. We'll be going over who made it, the design, what nations used it, some of the battles it took place in, and how it performs in game. To start off with, the Horo was called the Type 4 15cm self propelled gun Horo. It was developed by the Imperial Japanese Army and produced by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in 1944 with a total known production number of 12, but there's a possibility that more were produced but not recorded. The Horo was inspired by the Krill self-propelled artillery during the technology sharing program between Germany and Imperial Japan with the idea that a large artillery gun would be mounted on an already existing tank chassis. The chosen chassis for the Horo was a reinforced Type 97 Chiha. The artillery gun that was used was a 150mm Type 38 Howitzer, which was based off German artillery made by Krupp, but I can't find a record on a specific model that they based it off of. From what I know and what I can find, it would appear to be based off the 15cm SFH-02 from 1902. The Type 38 Howitzer had been in service since 1905 and was withdrawn in 1942 due to it being obsolete. However, due to the surplus and the need for artillery, it was brought back into service. The design of the chassis and superstructure caused the elevation to be restricted to 30 degrees, giving it a max firing range of 6,000 meters. The superstructure of the frontal gun shield had a thickness of 25 millimeters that extended a short distance on the sides. However, the side armor for the shield was only 12 millimeters thick. The short distance of cover on the sides left the crew vulnerable, especially in close combat. The Hovra was equipped with a frontal superstructure mounted with a 150 millimeter Type 38 howitzer at a maximum of 25 millimeters of armor and a minimum of 12 millimeters of armor had a crew of six, a weight of 16.3 tons, a length of 5.52 meters or 18.1 feet, a width of 2.33 meters or 7.64 feet, a height of 2.36 meters or 7.74 feet, and a max speed of 23.6 miles per hour. Next, we'll move on to its operational history. The Hora was used by the Imperial Japanese Army when it was rushed into service and deployed as part of the 2nd Tank Division with the Japanese 14th Area Army during the Philippines Campaign in the final year of the war. Remaining units were deployed to Okinawa for island defense during the Battle of Okinawa, but were heavily outnumbered by American artillery. Out of the 12 known Horos, only one is still surviving. Finally, we'll move on to how it performs in War Thunder versus how it performed historically. In War Thunder, the Horo is fairly well done. The armor is slightly off on the gun shield, with the side armor being 20mm thick instead of 12mm thick. The main gun is right with it being a 150mm Type 38 Howitzer. However, it does have a secondary 7.7mm Type 97 machine gun, which isn't necessarily wrong for the simple fact that soldiers adapt and modify equipment based off their needs and environment. For that reason, I don't see a need for it to be changed. The speed is off by 1.2 miles per hour, with it being 24.8 miles per hour, whereas it should be 23.6 miles per hour. All in all, even with the gun shield being slightly off, the Horo is really well done. I don't think there's anything that needs to be changed, unless Gaijin wants to be 100% accurate and change it to 12 millimeters of armor on the side and lower the speed to 24.6 miles per hour. But with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, squish that like button, subscribe, and let me know what you want to hear about next. I'll see you in the next one.